This is Calico. This is a very interesting sort of game. I thought this was a perfect starting point. We're on Xbox Series X. The game actually is interestingly inheriting an Xbox One X enhancement. So we're getting a 4K resolution HDR support. But yeah, this is a very, very interesting title. I'm not necessarily the target demographic for this one, but yeah, it's it's definitely kind of interesting. So you're basically running this sort of, I guess you could call it a, a cat cafe, and yeah, it's, it's, it's very, very interesting. So you kind of have your animals, and then you can give them sort of, I guess, commands to a degree. And you've got these objectives, and you can have like two animals, so I've got one on my head. And if I want to play with the cat, I can wiggle it around. So yeah, kind of funny one, I, it asks you to put your name in. And I'm like, okay, cool. And then you go to character creator, and uh, it's very specifically for... Uh, <laughs> one demographic which which is totally fine i mean i don't know what i expected but yeah it's kind of funny oh whoa, whoa, we got to pick that one up because i think we got to give it the command to sit and well i mean it's probably not going anywhere hey rusty go to the cafe but yeah you can do all kinds of things there's like a toy thing and you can get different animals there's not just cats uh, that's a capybara there they're wonderful giant getting big type creatures that are a little bit more crazy and uh, calm and docile. But yeah, as you can see, the game is really wild. It's, I don't really even know how to describe it. It's an interesting title because you can also, like you place furniture down, like you, you set this up and you can like do all kinds of different furniture things. Like I wish I had more furniture here, but you can get different toys. And, and different creatures, and then you can have all these different, I guess you could say, setups within the game. And I, I hope I don't get any music type copyright things, but yeah, then there's this whole creation system where you become like a mini person, and then you have to collect the stuff and uh, put it in here. It's definitely one of the most adorable slash cute games I've, I've ever played, that's for sure. It's uh, kind of fascinating. So yeah, you build your thing and then you go over here and you put it in the tray. And then you've made your food item. <laughs> and you've got like uh, quests, so now we gotta talk to Lumi, because we, we did the mission. And uh, you know, you got like side quests and there's different animals that you can find and bring. And then there's different townspeople, and you kind of do quests and interact with them and stuff like that. It's, uh, it's interesting. That's for sure. It's, it's definitely a fascinating sort of game, like I gotta say that. I was, uh, definitely not expecting it, and then you kind of saved there. So I, I guess it's sort of like Harvest Moon to a degree, maybe a little bit of Animal Crossing in there. I guess. Yeah, it's it's fascinating. <laughs> and it's like this open world too, so you can go to different areas. I guess we could show the map. Like I haven't even really fully uh, embraced the, the size of this one. Like I think it's something you could play quite a lot if you uh, really wanted to sit here and kind of enjoy the enchanting terrain. It, it, it's quite up to you how much you get out of this one, I guess. It's not, like, difficult. It's just really, like, quest-driven if you want, or you can just collect stuff, and you're trying to, like, you know, run your little area, and then you can go and you can buy things from the town people, and uh, there's, like, this cat person that's, like, hiding in the back. Uh... Well, not in the back, but like behind these buildings, <laughs> and they're like meow meow meow. And it seems like it's an under kind of deal sort of thing where they're like a really sketchy sort of cat person that sells things. They sell the good stuff that the shops won't. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely one of the most fascinating uh, titles I've ever seen. So I have the potion, uh, basically, that makes this thing really big. So this was a small cat until I juiced it, 
and and now it's a really really big cat but yeah like i was saying this is this is very very much for a specific target audience but you know what it's it's actually quite well done it looks really good like visually i think it's quite sharp for it's like artistic style uh it's, it's very clean it's, it's easy to understand it's easy going and yeah you know what it's kind of fun pretty in-depth uh well, that's not what i wanted uh, character customization that you can do and i don't know if i missed it but i think we're just kind of locked to this sort of uh look if you get what i mean which i thought was funny and then you can get different like clothing options i don't have any you have to you have to buy them but you know you can get different clothes there's all kinds of different clothes available and you know you can grab all kinds of different creatures to to take and you can bring them with you <laughs> I just love the idea of like picking up these creatures and be like, aha! Yeah, and then there's like these, the baths where the capybara is, because capybara is like water. I think it's hilarious that they included that, actually. I kind of find it a little charming. Is this a situation of where we're not supposed to be here because it's like nighttime? Oh, where are they? Where is this person? I see on the map. Did they like move into town or something? Where she's on like the edge of the pond apparently. I'm not, I'm not seeing that. Maybe she's like lower or something like that. On this cliffside. Does anyone know where she went? It's like this spooky ominous cave area. I don't know. It, it's a very interesting and uh, different sort of title maybe she's just not there because it's like nighttime basically i guess i should get some like rest going on i should have realized that and then start fresh tomorrow but we can bring this uh this giant rabbit back i kind of want to want abduct one of the uh polar bear kids but oh, oh hello there i did the thing yeah you came by i didn't even notice or didn't even notice I didn't even see you visit. So we got some money, so now we can uh, we could go buy stuff, but I think we're gonna take this <laughs> rabbit pack and uh, sleep the night. Where did our cat go? Where did giant rideable cat go? Oh no, does anybody know where my cat went? This is not good, not good at all. Here, giant kitty creature thingy. Where are you? Did you jump off the ledge? That would not be good. Keep in mind, we are sort of running. You can, like, do a regular movement as well. But we're always in a bit of a hurry, because we're a, we're a hard worker out here exploring this place. But uh, I'm kind of hoping we find our giant cat. I've grown quite fond of using it as a mount. It really does change the RPG. Like, it's, it's definitely got some RPG elements to it. Where did my giant cat go? This is weird. I guess I could just kind of ride this, or hold this thing. Seriously, did I miss something? Where did that cat wander off to? Oh, and I, I guess you can also change the perspective if you want to get, like, really into there. Like a green creature thing. So, my cat kind of vanished. So we're going to just take the easy way back, I guess. That's a bit of an inconvenience. Maybe I'm just not noticing where the giant cat is. Actually, can we ride one of the capybars? That would be helpful. Yes, we can. <laughs> this game is hilarious. See, we could just jump down the cliff here and get back, but I'm just kind of wondering if we're going to see maybe our cat mount on the way. That's my thing is, like, what if the cat mount is down somewhere here? You know what I mean? I'd rather be riding the cat back. Da -da 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 -da. 
what an epic adventure. Oh, we're not supposed to go that way. I appear to have veered off. Oh yeah, so that's a closed off area, so that's not built yet. Ah, uh, I got it. We we went off the wrong way on the path here. My bad. Should have realized that. Let's see on the map. Or no, we do want to go that way. Oh, I think we accidentally made it, so we have to take the very, very long way around. Which would not be ideal, because it looks like there's a bit of a chasm. Unless we can slip down here. Me and my crazy shortcuts. There we go. Now we're well on our way back to the cat cafe. Oh yeah, the cappy bars, they're, they're great swimmers, don't worry. They do this all the time. This particular act here is what capybaras do. See, look, they're smiling. Are you smiling? Or she? I don't know. Whatever the capybara is. Oh, our cat went back to, uh... Cat, cat went back to base. Right on. It's a good cat, I guess. Okay, uh... You sit here, capybara. I, I, I don't know if we... Well, there's a water thing in the back. I, I think that would satisfy its needs, right? Um... There you go. So I don't know if you need to be... Do you need to be told that, uh... To go to the cafe? Cafe is full. Oh. Well. I don't know. Do your thing. Do I have too many cats? Is it because of all the crows I have? <gasps> the capybara is walking home. It's self-aware. So then you save and you sleep to another delightful... Night. See, that's just adorable. <laughs> New day! Those are my quests. But the heat lamp. We need to talk to us still at the general store. Yes, yes we do. Uh, we need to get rid of one of these ravens. I don't like them that much. Wow, look at the giant bunny thing. Isn't this wild? Look at all these creatures. And again, there's the whole building system. There's all these different things you could do. It's really, really quite expansive. You can really just go absolutely nuts on it. Be free, Raven. We'll show off a little bit of the town, and then we'll, we'll kind of call it on this presentation of what the game's like. It's really adorable. It's, it's pretty cute. It's a lot of fun. If you think it's for someone that might like it, I, I really do think that they will enjoy what this has to offer. It's kind of very interesting. It, it's definitely different. It's not the type of thing we see too often, and it's perhaps an underserved uh, market, I guess you could say, is really the big thing. We oh, yeah, I want to show off the weird cat thing. The sly cat in the back. It's definitely a little bit more in-depth than I thought it would be, quite honestly. Just in regards to the animals, I really seem to have mostly just cats. I can bring the bunny out here. Meow. Let's see, you can buy the good stuff from the cat out back. <laughs> it's just kind of funny. So now we gotta bring the thing to. Uh, anyways, that's like the town of people. Then there's Spooky Girl over here. There's a town over there you can unlock and go to work towards. Yeah, she wants spooky stuff. The cafe. And then there's furniture people. And then there's buying stuff. There's a lot of things you could do. You could you'd spend a good amount of hours working through this if you really want to do all the quests and get it finished. I don't think it would be a hard completion either when it comes to like achievements and stuff, in case you were wondering. But yeah, it, it's definitely interesting. Yeah, it's a lot of flowers. Now we got a flower too. See, it gives you all kinds of quests. You could spend countless hours going about and dealing with things and running your cafe. Isn't that just absolutely delightful? It's a magical journey with magical people. Good pastries, building up your cafe, and having a delightful time a laid-back, relaxing, and calming sort of atmosphere. That is... Calico... Calico? Calico. Calico? I don't know. That's the name. Close enough. 